kill my beastie! I kill you! Oh no. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, woohoo! So, we are going to start off this uh, episode with uh, getting uh, this captain rogue and then i am going to spend the rest of the episode getting all these uh lost artifacts ethelden shield memories and more captains so that we can start focusing on uh capturing this fortress so yeah let's go i'm there the closest there's another high deer tower here you enough brawling you lousy maggots death to the talk <laughs> You're dead. Elf shot me. Ah. Level twenty. So need more health shot. Oh, damn. Seems like I need to get my bodyguard. Oh, 
are you part of me or not? to get him. I didn't want to kill him. The orcs are neither the only denizens of Mordor, nor the first. Easterlings and Haradrim have settled here from time to time, often at the Dark Lord's invitation. They are scarce today, but one can still find their strange artistic carvings scattered in places from Nern to the city of the Corsairs. Minas Ethel is on Gondor's frontier. So we have few occasions for the grand balls and masquerades that are surely common events in the capital city. Fine dresses like this one are worn for ceremony. Funerals and weddings, mostly. Not for lordly entertainment. I wonder if the noble families of Minas Tirith spared a thought for us, holding all of Mordor at bay while they danced. The Wages of War Many Gondorian soldiers remain in chains. How Baronor rescue his men? 8,000 reward. XP reward. Baronor, one of our scouts reported prisoners here, and far too many orcs to handle alone. Let's each take a flank and meet in the middle. I'll be there. Uh, Baronor, we must be careful. Quickly, you don't understand. We have to leave. I've given up hope, Ranger. I don't know how you force. I must thank you. We've been off the Captain Gondor here for some time. Caused us quite a bit of trouble till now. <laughs> it was a good effort, but it ends here. Your friend's gone, and you're about to see your insides become your outsides. Oh no. Where is there you are? Come on. Looks like some fight's going to happen. Get him off the caracol. Down you go. Ooh. Not that. Got you. For the bright lord, you will fight. I am honest 
to be chosen out to be chosen boss. <laughs> you stupid talk. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There we go. I am on it. Louia. I never dared to break the seal on this scroll, though I often wanted to. I found it in a dust covered box with a label marked Maps of Southron Trade Routes. Baronor is a Haradrim. So perhaps this scroll has a map of his homeland. Breaking the seal is strictly forbidden for those who aren't Lords of Gondor. And as much as I'm curious, I know my father would not approve. Cyan. Tol. Torek. My earliest memories are of being nestled under blankets as my mother showed me the illustrations in a storybook about Loki the Larrikin, whose mischief always ended in disaster. Though she was always one step ahead of her stern governess. I found the book tucked away years later after I learned to read. And I was surprised to learn that the storybook was full of little morality plays. Not the comic tales my mother told. I wonder why she did that. The elves of the distant north have long been named among Gondor's allies. Though I've never seen one in person. This cloak is as light as the morning fog on the shoulders. I tried it on once. And its colors seem to shift and blend as the light changes. How meager the product of our looms is when compared to elven handiwork. I've never seen a warg, but books and traveling hunters have told me plenty. The goblins of the north can ride wargs as the men of Rohan ride horses. Their howls can be heard leagues away, and their senses are keen enough to track even a ranger. What makes a warg truly fearsome is that they hunt in packs of a dozen or more. Categors are more dangerous, but they travel in smaller numbers. A feeble blessing, that. I'm glad they don't range in the middle. Even a pack of wolves Okay, so that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoy my content, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Please leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions or concerns that you might have. Then if you want, please check out our membership page by clicking the join button. If there is no join button, then you can find the link for YouTube membership and Patreon in the description below. With that being said, I am going to give my current supporters the recognition that they they deserve by giving their names up in the credit roll. If you want your name to be there, be sure to follow the instruction on becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter. So, credit roll in three, two, one, go. Alrighty then. So, again, everyone, thank you for your support. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!